What is in my bean? I know it's very windy outside. She knows I'm headed out, she can tell. I've been packing up my stuff. I'm just going down a couple campsites to have a Thanksgiving. So I am going to be taking the day off of this camera at least until sunset. Who knows what sunset brings. I haven't been doing a whole lot of filming lately. Um, I've been painting and I think I just needed a break. I had a whole bunch of videos, a, a whole bunch of footage that I went through where I basically said the same thing over and over again. And I took a really deep look at that same thing. And as much as I like to share everything with you guys, and I do share so much with you, there is, there are some things that are healthy boundaries and this is one of them. And I've decided I'm just going to kind of rein myself in on it. And it takes a second for me to do that. I, I, I need a beat or two. So I'm taking the beat. And I will still have consistent videos. I just am probably going to just trash all that stuff and start over. And that's okay too. And uh, yeah. But I'm really pleased with my latest little paintings and these four by fours and hopefully we can get them moving because I would like to consistently finish out this year with painting sales being how I make my money. Wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, that's my, that's my, I am so happy and grateful that for the rest of this year it's all painting sales. That'll feed me, gas up this van, and keep me painting. And I have a friend from Connecticut who's in Alamogordo, and I'd like to go visit. So hopefully I get a chance to do that too, if I can get the gas money together. So, see what happens. Isn't it just gorgeous? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I came back to the right place for sunset. For sure. I, look how far the light travels. The sunset is way over here. I find it so amazing. Oh look, and we even have a little sliver of a moon tonight. We have someone who just pulled in to hang out and enjoy the view. And Nugget is very suspicious. Now that I've mentioned them, they're leaving. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe it's because of the cookie lady and the unicorn onesie and the van next door with the cat. I don't know. Maybe. You never know. So, this, what you see up here in the corner is what I want to work on today. I started this plein air at the Gila when uh, a couple weeks ago now oh gosh more than that now um yeah so I think it was beginning of November yeah so point is this is what I'm going to be working on today at least that's my goal First, I have to reconstitute. I have not opened this in quite some time. And to be honest with you, I'm not even sure when the last time I opened it was. So this is my gouache palette. 
in case you're new to this channel. And gouache is what I primarily paint in. I've been on an acrylic kick for the past few months. So if you joined me recently, that's why you've seen so many acrylic paintings. Uh, yeah, that's just been a kick I've been on. Um, but yeah, so normally I work in gouache. And this is my little favorite little yummy palette. You can see all my colors. Dun, dun, dun. Um, this is a mix. It's actually a very deep dark purple. Um, anyway, this little baby needs to be stirred up today. I hope it can be. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't opened this in quite some time. So let's find out. bad. So now I'm going to stir it up. Stir it up. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Before I go in, I can see that I have, if I carefully, how about I finish a sentence for you? So, let's see, you can see in the top of the yellow and here there's discoloring that's from, a, you know, mixed pigment from the last time I painted. So if I, before I do anything, take a soft brush like this silver black velvet that I have, it's like a really plush, soft, I can dip it in the water get some of that water off, not all of it obviously, but just some of it. it. This is a really absorbent brush. And just touch, let's see if I can show you. And just touch the top of these. I might be able to get it off of there. I'm gonna try to show you, but it's gonna be difficult for me to do I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to waste anything if I can avoid it. And you have to be careful. This is actually way softer than I expected it to be. Um, so, oops, that's a hair. Let's put that baby. And now I can grab my palette knife. I do like to dry my brushes horizontal so that they don't, the water doesn't seep in and damage the actual handle connection, right? So where the handle and the brush meet. So just a little bit of water added to help with some of the pigment that has gotten a little bit dried up. So I'm, it is a little bit of reconstituting involved here, but not too much. But you can see it takes some time and some patience. This particular part of the process is pretty painstaking. It takes a serious amount of time. So the burnt umber has an interesting consistency of being a little bit crumbly. Um, I'm trying to very gently add the water to it I, the one thing that always gets me about this container is I'm always afraid to like accidentally mix <laughs> colors. Well, you know, it's not like I have a whole lot of money to replace my pigments. And in order to keep this a really productive palette, you really have to squeeze a generous amount. I have found that mixing 
this palette up can be very therapeutic. However, I have also found that after I am finished, I often now no longer have the motivation to paint. That was not the case on this day, but I have had that happen. So I've started making it its own event. I will decide that I will get my palette all prepped and ready maybe a few hours before I'm going to paint. Maybe even the night before. And now it is all set and ready to go. A beautiful creamy palette. Yay, creamy palette. So you can see I started working in this main event tree <laughs> that I love and I'm just having fun slowly layering in the shadows and bringing her forward I'm just going to take my time uh, there's no rush I don't have a deadline and if I just sit here and sort of doodle it'll you know work more naturally than if I sat here with some sort of high focused destination, right? And I'm just working on her. And that's the beauty of gouache, is that I can do things like that and then put it aside. Good morning, everyone. Look at this gorgeous sunrise. <sighs> Slowly but surely this painting is coming along. I'm actually painting kind of a reimagined composition. Because there's it was such a thick um dense woodland, you know, with so much variety, right? And the light was glistening off of these olive trees. I, I guess they're Russian olives. Um, and so, and then you had the occasional cottonwood bang, right? And But mostly, primarily, evergreen. So, I'm trying to kind of mix it all in so you have juniper and pine and other evergreens mixed in but if I try to do it all it's just going to become incredibly confusing that's Nugget's new favorite spot um yeah, if I try to do too much, it'll become confusing. So I slowed down. I, The image I took is kind of flat, which kind of bugs me. And disappointed that I can't go back and look at it again. <clears throat> so I'm kind of using some remembrances of how I painted this one painting that I did in Mancos. And... Trying to recreate a little bit of that feeling. Um, the light was really similar to me. So it makes sense. And yeah, I've got to figure it out. I haven't figured it out yet. So once I figure it out, right? In the middle of the lake, is Rattlesnake Island, connected to Lions Beach by a narrow gravel bar. Sudden spring floods of the lake concentrate snakes here. This I'm reading from an article I found from February in 1982. Yeah, uh, and it's part of the ne New Mexico State Park series, and this is the Elephant Butte section. And that there in the distance, my friend, are the mountains of Monticello. Look at the ribbon of color and light. How far. Look at that. It's just 
Look at that. Phenomenal. Yeah. This. At some point, I have to just accept that she's going to do it. The towel is usually tucked all the way into the liner, the roof, the ceiling, because <laughs> it all leaks. So that's there to absorb any moisture that rains in. And no, I know I'm in New Mexico and very rarely do we experience enough rain here at this time of year for me to have a problem with it. But... The second I get into a place where it rains, I'll forget and forget to put it in there. And I had an electrical fire back in 2020 in my steering column because of the leak. So I've done everything I could to stop it up so it doesn't leak like it used to. I'm, I've definitely hampered it. Um... It's still, water finds a way. And this is a 2003 Ford line from Connecticut. So it has a lot of corrosive rust. Um, I am giving my van the life it never dreamed it would have. I thought it was going to rot in the yard of my mechanic and only get used once in a blue moon to help people move, you know. <clears throat> but I gave her a whole new life. And there is really pretty light happening right now. I'm going to look out the back window. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think this sunrise is worth getting cold for all of you. Hang on. Wow. I mean, look at the color in the water. Serious? Just gorgeous. And just the way it travels through the sky. Oh, look at the light over there. Yeah, by the way, everybody, I kept calling those the San Mateo Mountains. No, Fra Cristobal, I believe. Fra Cristobal Mountains. That is actually way more pink than my camera showing you no. I don't know how to get it to pink out for you it won't do it what's up huh are you looking first I have to uncross my legs soon though So cute the way she makes her circles. No, not not yet. You haven't settled down yet. Oh, can you tell I'm gonna move my leg? Cause I have to move my leg. Did you know I wanted hot chocolate too, huh? No, you didn't know that. 
a rainy day. She's been a little bit bored. And I've been slowly working on this painting. That painting right there. Hanging out. Building the layers. It's my view out the back. Isn't that nice? I know. Place is a bit of a mess because I've been working on and off and but now I really have to think about food. I started painting so early and you know this is part of the problem when I start painting early I start painting before I'm hungry then I forget to eat. not good so um, now I have to try to really refocus my energy in that direction um, which means poor kiddo is gonna have to move I know I've been trying not to sit in the chair as often and sometimes sit up on the bed um, it helps me get a little bit further from the paintings that I'm working on, right? But also a slightly different position to be sitting in because I've been noticing my back not being happy with me. Which also means I'm not exercising enough. I know. I hear it all. You're right. Oh, I'm touching her probably too much. Oh. What is it? You are such a beautiful little girl. Yes, you are. Oh, hi. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I know this I am allowed to do. So a rainy day in the van also means I got lost um, down the rabbit hole of TikTok, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing. I do get a lot of good stuff out of it. Um, but I have a video I need to be editing, and I haven't even wanted to put together the videos for tomorrow. And I need to do that, but I also need to eat. So I'm going to clean up and make some food. I can never tell. Like, she's purring. She seems happy. But then there's the tail. And I'm just, see she wish, and doesn't she look happy on her face? Right? Then the tail. Is she happy? I don't know. I'm so confused. I feel slightly gaslit by my cat. Still doing it. She's just looking. I'm, I'm not touching her anymore. By the way, I stopped. I think the rain makes her slightly agitated. She doesn't like all the ping, ping, pinging on the roof. And she knows I'm getting ready to get up to go make food. That has nothing to do with her. I can tell that she's silently hoping that I'm going to make something with the canned chicken. Because then that means she would get a piece.
I just put the butt pillow. Yes, I have a butt pillow for my chair on the chair because she doesn't like it. And look where she went. She went right to her food dish. She's like, oh, if you're going to get off the bed, that means you can give me food. No. So what you see in her water dish is remnants of dry food because I put dry food in there to tempt her to drink more water. And it does eventually work. She will eventually consume all of that. It takes her sometimes a little bit of time throughout the course of the day, but she does it. She gets just desperate enough because I refuse to buckle under pressure and feed her earlier or give her extra snacks. She is on a diet. She was beyond looking like a healthy cat and she was getting to the point of almost not being able to clean herself properly. And instead of getting to that point, I decided to take a second look at how I was feeding her. And I was giving her kitten portions. And you're supposed to cut back after a certain point. And, I, you know, she's two. So we had to figure that out. And now she's... She gets pretty vicious when she wants me to beat her. She, like, beats me up. I'm spoiled by the having a heater at night. It's been so nice. I just leave it on a low setting. And eventually, it really only is on when it's really cold. Um... So I don't like freeze <laughs> completely and when I get up to pee it's been nice to be warm while I pee. I know. These are the little things. It's a luxury. I slowed way down painting. You know, I expelled a lot getting ready for this show. So I've just been slowly making my way through this one. I do have a couple of other paintings I need to get accomplished. So they're already sold. been kind of trying to just allow myself to find my groove again without trying to force it um, and I've had a couple we've had a couple rainy days here and like <laughs> Both Nugget and I are like a little bit zoned out from the rain and the cloudiness. Oh. She's so sweet. My little girl. Look at her looking at me all sleepy. She's so comfy. Oops, sorry about that. That's my charging cable. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Here are the images of the progress of Gila Glow from this beautiful BLM spot just north of Kingston. If you like today's video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. And if you'd like to contribute to keep me full of art supplies, all the links are below. PayPal, Patreon. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.